Howdy y'all, this is Charlie Agar in Seguin, Texas. I was yammering to the camera here. It didn't make any sense, so I just recorded over it. We're doing some fall hive checks on some single deeps. These are bees that we're gonna really make sure they're nice and fat and heavy and gonna get through our little Texas winter, but Texas winter can be real brutal on our bees. So fall is a time to do a little feeding, get them ready. So I take the feeder out to make space and then I go through the hive. There's some honey, kind of a funky frame, but there's plenty of bees in here. Not a super strong hive, but they're doing okay. Lots of bees on these frames. So that will work and we've got some brood there uh, which is good for this time of year end of October and There's more brood. That's good. So this is a decent high. They actually I think they need a little space So I'm gonna give them a little box on top just so they have a little breathing room. They may not fill it I might take it off later, but I'm kind of happy with this hive. I am NOT looking for the queen I see evidence of her, so I always tell folks in classes it's not really worth it to look for the queen. It is fun to find the queen, but it's not that helpful to see her. Really, we want to see evidence of her. This time of year, we've been using Viroxan. It's an oxalic acid slow-release treatment. It's new on the market. It comes in these strips that are soaked in oxalic. It takes uh, one strip for every 2.5 frames of brood so there wasn't a lot of brood in here so probably more than they need but uh, that'll be on there for 56 days we're going to give them a little juicy juice a little one-to-one -one sugar water we've got the pre-mixed stuff and then i have some drawn frames that i'm just going to give it to them see what they do with it they're going to get a little pollen too just a little bit of protein see if they can maybe build some babies see what they do with it we want to make sure not to encourage small hive beetle but see what they do with it now we have this new program we're using called Nectar. It is a hive management system, piece of software, so we can track what we do with our hives. And here's another hive that's a single deep, and again, trying to get these bees through the winter. Not much on the edge of this hive and that outside frame. Not looking too great, but there's a little bit of food. That's not bad. There's a the bit of brood in this hive. There's the old queen cage from when they made this hive. Then I find a queen cup. Just to show you that, that is a queen cup. So that's no larva in there, so not to worry about. But it's something that folks often freak out about. They've got a queen cup. The bees just make that as an escape hatch. This hive's doing okay. A couple three frames of brood, not bad. Again, I'm not looking for the queen. I'm just making sure uh, there's a lot of bees. I could really stop at this point, but I go through the whole hive just because it's kind of fun. Here's a funky frame where they build the comb wrong. And so because it's empty, there's no honey in it. I just kind of get rid of that. Hopefully they can build it correctly going forward. They're gonna get a little bit of a rock sand, a little bit of slow release oxalic. And then of course um, there's one more honey frame and then of course they're going to get some pollen uh, a little bit of protein and i put that on top of the feeder the the sugar water feeder mother load feeder they're going to get a little sugar water they're going to get their tag and we're in business so exciting time of year getting ready for winter make sure you stay ahead of your hives this time of year it's important